What I need is a vampire cocktail to settle my nerves. It'll not only settle them, it will petrify. Mm. A vampire cocktail. You like it? It hates you. some tanner leaves tonight because I'm going to try to get me a mummy. Well, all I wanted was a little old mummy. Well, if I can't get a mummy with the tanner leaves, let's at least look at tonight's movie, The Mummy's Curse. Storm up there, nothing I like, but where did I do? What did I do tonight? Thrown out of my castle here, Constant. Ah! Ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> now, let's read this here. I don't understand why I'm being forced to leave this place here. Well, he's right. After 500 years, it reverts to the original owner. <laughs> Whoever that might be. Well, it's time to burn the uh, burn the lease. Actually, is the way I feel about it. And uh, I'm in, uh, intending to have a grand evening here this last uh, night of my couch, my existence here in this castle underneath. Good Lord knows what's up there. <laughs> Somebody wrote in and said they don't care for Gullardi. Just call. Not only do they not care for him, but their whole bridge cub hates him. Bridge? They already made the big one out in San Francisco so big you might as well give a game up. Right away I hate him. <laughs> Does this program go to Parma? What is that? No, there's nothing wrong with your set. It's just shock theater. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I love it. We I love to hear that right. laugh. We've got a flash for them today. Oh, yeah? Yes. There seems to be an ionic storm somewhere in space, and, and we can't raise Flash Gordon, Dale Arden, or uh, Dr. Zarkov. Oh, well, maybe they'll be here next week. Huh? Oh, possibly, because it'll be chapter 15, well, an breakfast. eye for an eye. It's almost over with. An eye for an eye? Yes, that, that's what it's entitled, oh, great. that chapter. Well, I'll tell you well, what. We'll probably we'll have it next week, though. Okay. So well, we'll see it right after these messages. That's huh? right. Well, okay. we'll tell them about our motion picture right after these words. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. And I'll show you a real messy house. As I drove down through the streets of Laredo. And he drove through the streets like a cowboy vampire. I spied a young cowgirl looked not where I'm driving. Castle of 
of shock. Kiss me, you fool. Good afternoon, and welcome to Channel 44's Creature Feature. And now, your ghost, Dr. Paul Bowman. <laughs> well, good afternoon, whatever you are, and welcome to the tenement castle of Dr. Paul Bearer. <laughs> so nice to sit out of the uneasy chair in my unliving room. <laughs> Run a little late today, so I uh, stopped by one of those quickie food joints and picked up, uh, thought I'd try some chicken McMaggots today. <laughs> Seriously, well, let me see how these things taste anyway. Mmm. <clears throat> Very tasty. <laughs> so while I enjoy my chicken McMagus, maybe you can enjoy our horrible old movie for today. And believe me, it's really horrible, or my name isn't Dr. Paul Barrow. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody to another exciting episode of Hail from Six Feet Under. Oh, I'm going to take you on a journey into the realms of ultimate <laughs> terror tonight. We're going to see an exciting film called Atomic Age Vampire. Oh, yes. It's a good one, don't you think so, Mortimer? Yes, I do. Oh, very good. This is Mortimer, my very own personal talking skull. Oh, and this is a bone which I'm going to set down right now. Go put some clothes on. Come on, get dressed. Well, then get dressed. And after avoiding a possum... <coughs> she needs a kindly scientist who wants to help her. I want to dominate the girl to possess her creatively. Unfortunately, he smells really bad. I appreciate all the effort and thought that went into this. It really is going to add a lot to presence here on Creature Feature, but we do want props, and so let it be. We have props. Very interesting. You think I ought to put it on? Hmm. Hmm. I always wanted one of these as a kid. You know, I've always wondered what would happen if you spun this prop real fast. I <laughs> mean, child's toy, but I've always wondered. Excuse me, indulge me in a little bit of fun. Here we go! Whoa! Someone get me down from here! Let's get back to the movie! Grandpa 
God's home, and I'm surrounded by you, all of you, and my closest, dearest friend. <laughs> and they're doing what they do best, you know. I just love a man who gives his work. <laughs> yeah. Don't they just kill you? Oh, you are so lucky. <laughs> I hope you didn't mistake me for Paul Newman, you know. People often make that mistake. Yes, sir, it's little old me, that gal with panache who rakes in the cash. Elvira, mistress of the dark. I really should have said who rakes in the IOUs, but that wouldn't rhyme. Oh, by the way, you know, if any of you rhyming Simons out there have any ideas, you know, like, you know, like the way I always say, that gal on the sofa who ain't no loafer, or, or, uh, that gal with the curves that'll rattle your nerves. Well, just send them in, okay? I mean, who knows? You might get to hear them on the show. <laughs> but try to keep them clean, okay? So turn out the lights. Get close to someone you care for. Because it's time for Zombo's House of Horror Movies. <laughs> Come, let's go inside and meet Quasi. Miss Transylvania. <laughs> Werewolfy. The head nurse. Officer not so friendly. And Bianca, the rack girl. And I'm hot. Hello, everybody, boys and ghouls, mummies and daddies. It's your old pal Zombo welcoming you to Zombo's House of Horror Movies. Ooh, this week's movie is one of the scariest movies ever made. I can still hear that voice. <laughs> 